Laser Mission LASIK Eye Center across the street from the Nanuet Mall. Call now for free consultation. Terminal Viscosity. Lethal Crouton. Maximum Overbite. Board 9, so the action will involve batter dipping. Oh, of these space mutiny, Graham Clarks. It's like a dream within a dream. His heart beats like a hammer. Out for jaundice. Like the back beat of a song. Whoa, a gun that shoots out credits. That's not very practical, but it's pretty cool. And he knows he don't belong. Screenplay compiled from Airwolf fan fiction. Try hard. Fasa, will you produce my movie? Danka. Meanwhile, in the lobby after a community college production of True West. Oh, wait, is this a uh, Spinal Tap release party? Disavowed by Bo Davis. May I introduce you to your Master of Ceremony, Ronald Sotheby. Welcome to the roast of Bishop Desmond Tutu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is truly a marvelous occasion for we, a select, privileged few, to witness <laughs> so. the unveiling of the most precious and the largest diamond to come from the continent of Africa. Now called New Exploitania. Oh no, the party's being crashed by performance artists. Larger than the hoop, more spectacular than the color. More priceless than the baseball. Measured at 526 carats. Did Megan Fox just it walk by? It is a great pleasure to present to you the MacGuffin, the Verbeek Diamond. I believe in opposite marriage. And now, what better way to mark this festive occasion than to salute it with a bottle of shampoo? Sham what? Shampoo? Sham wow? Now we'll never know. Hey, it's the smoke monster from Lost in an early role. Cheech and Chong, International Jewel Thieves. Someone reforging Narsil back there? Did anybody find a cell phone in here? Oh my god, he shot! Something. Alright, now let's go sell this thing and put a down payment on a PS3. trained in the ancient art of looking. Hairspray's flown in from all the corners of the globe. Thank you for flying Laser Mission Airlines. Enjoy your visit to Laser Mission International Airport and your final destination. Welcome to Uzbekistan. Your Aunt Susan in Laser Mission. I need to declare some extremely valuable underwear. Sir, you get to keep the magazines. Michael Go. Male Gigolo? American. Are you here for pleasure or business, Mr. Go? A little bit of both, you might say. Sir, I would never say that. What kind of business do you do? People management and conduct behavior modification. <laughs> that means I kill people, isn't that hilarious? That sounds very interesting and dangerous work. Let's put it this way. I'll always have a job. My uncle owns the company. The trouble is, are you always able to do the job? Anyway, welcome to Cleveland. You wouldn't happen to know where I could get a good Cuban cigar, would you? You Americans, with your sense of humor, it kills me. So you don't know. Blow something up, come on! Meanwhile, on the shores of northern Jersey... Soundtrack by David Gilmore's nephew's best friend. 
Does anybody know where I can get a good Cuban cigar? There's a Christ child on every gear? Good. You know, just because Ernest Borgnine's asleep on a bench in the background doesn't mean he's in your movie. Mind if I sit, Mr. Ron? Jan Michael Vincent! Oh, oh no, no, no. Actually, we have found it. Performance or senior moment? Who are you? And how do you know me? My name is Michael Gold. I represent a group of concerned citizens in the United States. The Ernest Borgnine Anti-Defamation League. Oh. You're fond of birds. Yes. Mid gravy, yes, yeah. I have an affinity for them. My daughter works. Uh, we're still shooting, Mr. B. What a strange approach. What do you want, young man? We want to help you. The, uh, the Americans, you mean? We want to buy you a new hat. And how much are they willing to pay? You want money? <laughs> Americans always seem to think that people want money. Me, I want Skittles. There are other things. Such as? You know, prominent cheekbones. Freedom? Ah, freedom. <laughs> Your people will keep me locked up for years. And while they pick my brains, the Star Wars program grows. And I will make my contribution to destroy mankind. No, thank you. I want to build, not destroy. So it's money you want. You have special talents and abilities, sir. Your research can't fall into the wrong hands. It will not. It will be all here. Exactly. And we want to keep it there. We want to freeze-dry your head. Are you acquainted with theoretical physics? No. I specialized in recess and girls. Oh, in woodshop. Oh, very funny. But you see, I want to stop dreaming about fire from heaven and melting men. And Shirley MacLaine. Masons. Echo and the Bunny Men. In America, you could write your own ticket. I guarantee it. <laughs> Tova would just love you. <laughs> then I think we can talk. I'll take your request back to my employer. Sam's Club? Do not be too long, my boy. What? Eh, old day. Dementia, eyebrow-related health issues. <laughs> they didn't teach you that in recess. Expect your cooperation, Professor. We're going to play Gears of War! Fine. It will take more than that. Oh, bye bye. Can I borrow a pen, sir? Oh, it's either a third world prison or any comfort in. Oh, please tell me I didn't go home with Borgnine. Welcome aboard the Southern Sun, Ensign. So sorry to leave you like this, Mr. Gold. You look a little lost. Trigonosis? What? Oh, I'm fine. Fine. You're in prison too far. Sir. You said it. The People's Court has found you guilty of crimes against humanity. I don't remember a trial. <laughs> you better sleep. You better. I played with your hair. What charges? Treason. Espionage. And consorting with Quentin McHale. The death penalty. How do you feel about laser missions? Melons are for sale! Hey? What exactly is he threatening there? Execution is a dawn tomorrow. We will say goodbye there. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd like to go free. We're flexible. No, no, you're not the type. Forget that image. What's the offer? Uh, it's a Ernest Borgnine movie. Hello, I don't think you'd be interested. A life appearance. To tell the world you're a spy, working for America. I don't work for America. No. I work for money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Is this guy a clown or what? I work for money, he says. In a socialist state. I don't know what that means. A present from the King of Belgium. 1907. Oh, there's got to be a more efficient way to do that. Blade needs sharpening. Do you want to add back sass to your list of charges? Don't try to be funny. You know how that worked out for Carlos Mencia. I won't snivel in public. 
I won't snivel and funk. What'd you do to the professor? He's with Marianne. They're fine. You should only be concerned about the more. Press bell, Mr. Go. Ha ha, they're going to cut off your head, manana. I'm not going to dignify that with acting. How the heck are we supposed to make slaw with this thing? Anki? Elton John is more Latin than this guy. Oh, no! No en la cabeza! Oh, poor Quay! Ah, oh, you shockingly missed me! Did he just throw keys at his crotch? Jeff Foxworthy, no! Oh, okay. Mortal Wombat! Oh, hey, Michael Gold, what's up? This army's comprised of assistant drama instructors. <laughs> Back to that subplot, I guess. Surprise! J.J. Walker, mercenary. Are all these guys having ill-timed heart failure? Didn't I kill you five times already? That is Americano. A Cuban, ladies and gentlemen. Not so fast, lobster boy. Are your enemies rock stupid? Send in Michael Gold! Will not make Gallagher joke! Here, catch! These soldiers clearly long to die. Meanwhile, at an available building hastily dressed to look like an embassy. This is just till the real sign gets here, right? A complete and total failure. And only 12 minutes in. You lost Braun. You don't know where he is, you don't know who got him. What didn't you do wrong? I didn't get killed. Why are we in Chuck Norris's rumpus oh. room? Cut the dialogue, Gold. You got lucky. Especially considering that this is the first assignment you've had for this office. You told me to contact Braun, ask him his price to defect, and report back. I did my job. Pay me and let me get the hell out of here? Kiss my ass. No! I'm not falling you for that again. You didn't know who he was or why he was so important. You people blew this operation from the start. Yeah, Braun is perhaps the world's leading expert in laser weaponry. And his presence in the Kavango means that the Soviet bloc planning some sort of laser mission. Ding, 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 ding. the balance of power on the entire African continent. Why didn't you tell me this before? You still would have fucked it up. You and me, anytime. That's enough. It's time for prayer meeting. We didn't tell you, Michael, because you're a freelancer. Freelancers have a nasty habit changing sides. In the middle of a death match. I don't. We don't know that. He's right. For all we know, you've already shot Braun to the highest bidder. That didn't happen. Prove it. How? Bring him back. Whoa, deja vu. Are you insane? That's a suicide mission. No laser. I don't want a man in Cavango. They want to cut my head off. They got company. Womp womp. Let's say I get him back. What's in it for me? I want more than just a boost in my CIA credit rating. I want reimbursement of foreign ATM fees. One million dollars. Too much. Don't second guess me, damn it. Anybody could have fraud now. He's got a very dangerous mind. No, you're thinking of Sam Rockwell. We need him under our control or dead. I'm suddenly hungry for America. I like the old man. You'd like a million dollars better. Yeah, 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 and I'd like to be able to sleep nights without worrying about some terrorist group shooting airliners out of the sky with lasers. You gotta stop listening to Mark Levin, dude. I'm telling you, I want Braun on a plane to Washington or I want him on a slab. I'll do it, but not for you. Not for the money. Come on, you're only in it for the money. Back off, Newhart. No. Hey! The old man wanted to go to America, and I gave him my word that he would. Right before I got kidnapped. You're just a government flunky, Calloway. I don't know why I expect you to understand that. 
Fair enough. Contact his daughter, Alyssa. She's a doctor of veterinary medicine. She's in Kuwana. And she's KGB. Oh, and I think she's a nun or something. <sighs> if you guys need me, I'll be in the violence of the night. You know, you guys really know how to win friends and influence people. You should totally write a book. Let's just see who gets to him first. What? D did you say something? <laughs>